Hey guys, Gus Mitchell here. Today I want to talk to you about the new seed cleaner that I purchased. Um, cleaning pollen is very laborious and uh, something I need to improve on a lot. The pollen cleaners that I've seen available are quite expensive. I had a gentleman email me uh, with the suggestion that I try a bird seed cleaner, which sent me down a rabbit hole. Um, I looked for a few places that sold birdseed cleaners. Um, saw some different designs with baffles, uh, some that you hook vacuum cleaners up to, uh, and some other options that I'm going to explore uh, later on this year as well. But <clears throat> I decided to go for it and buy this little unit here. Uh, these came in two sizes, and this is actually uh, an electric winnower is was the description of it um, it's a winnowing machine uh, it's designed with a little hopper on the top with a fan the debris goes into this end and then the pollen this end now I did a little modification to this unit right here. Uh, in the hopper, there's a slide, a slide baffle that is for seed size, I guess. The smallest size was supposed to be for millet. Um, and it seemed a little too big for me. Um, I was getting a lot of pollen, uh, regular pollen granules back in the, in the clean or the dirty portion that it's kicking back out uh, good bit through but it's it's working out pretty good now uh, I do have to vibrate it uh, sometimes shake it to make it feed in the hopper if there was some way to uh, put some kind of agitator or something uh, on this hopper or maybe under the unit that would um, cause it to vibrate just a little bit like this that would be excellent um, what else we got so it does a pretty good job cleaning the fines out it will blow the fines out and the smaller debris it does not get the big stuff like small hive beetles um, which is expected uh, the gentleman that had recommended a bird seed cleaner to me said he experienced the same thing with that so what i'm doing now is as I, i'll load the hopper if i have anything large i go ahead and kick it out uh let let the unit run and then when i get done i will dump the uh, container out and onto this sheet pan give this sheet pan a good good shake around and look it over which i've already done this one and get any of the big stuff with uh with the tweezers Then of course, once it's done, we'll get it in there. But I'll give you guys a demonstration. There's a switch, it's got a little plug in, and a switch that has a, a low power mode and then a high power mode. It's, it's pretty quiet. I think you guys can hear it there. So I'm gonna angle this camera for a dip. Okay guys, I got the camera positioned over the hopper and here we'll start. Which it was going in much better earlier. I think I dumped it too quickly. That's a little better.
So I may have to do some more adjustments with this hopper. But it's working decently. Maybe I'll find something better than this, but this is better so far than what I was doing. This little unit, I think it cost me after shipping around $200. Um, you can order them from AliExpress or Alibaba uh, quite a bit cheaper. But I ordered this one through Amazon because I wasn't sure what it was going to be like and what it was going to look like and I wanted that protection. Now, this unit did get confiscated at customs. I assume because of the name uh, being a seed cleaner, maybe they thought that uh, there was seeds in the package or something, but uh, they ended up letting it come on through. It did delay the shipping, but nothing too major there. They made two units that were like these. This is the small, the bigger unit. Uh, cost it a good bit more and I just wasn't sure if this was going to work. So I gave I gave the uh, the little one a try. Okay guys, so now we will shut it off. I don't like that this plug-in, the power source, is right there. It's kind of in the way of, of the drawer. And I could probably rig something up to bypass this drawer, this, this little shelf, um, so that we just run it straight out into a bucket or something like that. This side here has a little baffle and I have uh, spilt it, but just kind of got to dump it out right like that this little baffle makes a decent blade to clean up So, did end up with wax moth larvae that got through. But, that's about it. So it's not, uh, it's not an incredibly efficient process and it's not leaps and bounds over what I was doing, but it's an improvement. Uh, I am doing this indoors, so there's that, it makes it a little better. Uh, it does allow me to be able to do it indoors. I have a little bit of debris coming on the table, but I have the shop back here in the corner uh, to clean that up with. So overall, I'm pleased with it. I'm not going to return it. I'm going to keep piddling with it. Um, maybe I can do some modifications uh, so that this will just run out. Maybe build a mount over a bucket or something like that um, so that it will just sit on a bucket and it'll drop in. 
from either side. Maybe find a way uh, to cause the, the whole unit to vibrate a little bit, something like that. But yeah, um, I'm pleased with it. It's a little bit of an improvement for me. So let me know what you guys think, what you suggest. How should I work on getting this to, to vibrate? Um, what other improvements you could see? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.